My name's Nate, and this is Heavy Pedal Garage. This is the channel where you can see this 1975 Firebird come back to life. And today, we're gonna work on this package tray. Now, way back when, when I was doing metal repair, my neighbor gave me the door from a 1990s pickup truck, and I cut a big piece of metal out of that door skin, and that's what I welded in for my package tray. So all that work's been done. I already have the holes cut out for my speakers. We just need to prep this thing to be able to put that interior vinyl piece that covers the metal. But before you do that, you got to consider two different things, heat and sound. So the sound barrier, like your kills, your smart mat, your boom mat, all of those things. I've even seen people use peel and seal roof material from the hardware store. But that just set, deadens the sound. It provides very little heat barrier. So what I'm going to use is this 3M closed cell foam. And uh, it's going to replace the jute that was originally underneath of there. And from what I've read, this 3M material will do a really good job. And then later on, I need to buy some sound deadener. Um, I might put some on the underside of this. We got to mark our template. We got to start cutting these pieces and we're going to get them stuck down. So overall, that was not a bad project. This is just one of the cheap package trays from Classic Industries. And again, I just got some Rockford Fosgate speakers. I think this set plus the set I'm gonna put up front was about $100. You can go back and check out my previous video on the installation of the Memphis Headless Unit. It's got an app for your phone. So this sounds really good. The package tray looks really good. The 3M foam underneath worked out nice. And then down the road, I can get in the trunk and put some sound deadener up underneath and that should be all good. So it's been a little cold out here in the garage to do the things that I need to do here for the most part, you know, putting the glass in. I wanna wait till it warms up because of the, the sealant. And then the other thing that I, really need to do is paint the trim so that I can start installing those trim pieces on the car. There's stuff to paint on the headlights, the grill, the taillights, you know, all that stuff needs to be done, but it's just too cold. So what I've been doing is working in the house in the spare bedroom down in the basement. And guys, I've been working on the center console. I'm getting it wrapped in vinyl, that marine grade, black leather looking material. And you're gonna to wanna to check out the next video because I am super excited with how that turned out. So that's kind of what we're up to. What you're gonna be seeing in the next few videos here is uh, gonna be some interior work. We gotta do these seats. I'm gonna, you know, reskin the seats, take the old upholstery off, put new upholstery on, the hog rings and pliers and restore the seat tracks and all that good stuff. It's probably stuff that I can do in the basement while it's so cold out. And then once the weather starts breaking, we can start getting into some of the final detailed touches on this thing. Cruise by spring, that's my goal. Catch me next time.